You said you've been drinking since this morning, right? I still got me a beer in my bag. You know what? Destruction will come to you if you continue Amen. in your way. Because guess what? Amen. Anything can happen. You can, best, you, listen, Tony. You can walk out in that street right now for being drunk and get hit by a car. No. Can that happen? No. Can that? Yes, it can. Not, not it can. not Bruh. Hey, hey, that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites from the time of the Jews. Let's go to Hebrews uh, 7 and 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. How do we prove that we love God? Knowing that you're an Israelite, but how do you prove that you love God? Here you go. Huh? By doing his word, what you say? Praying and read his word every day. Read his word, what you say? Let's show you. Let's, 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 on God every day. Let's, let's, let's show you what the love of God is. Watch this, read that. First John, chapter five and verse three. Read. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. It's the what? What's the love of God? That we keep His commandments. So, so brother, brother James, did you did you hear that? Read it again for him. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. So, what is the love of God? Keep His commandments. What's the love of God? What's the love of God? Keep His commandments, right? Read. And His commandments are not. Grievous. Meaning his commandments are not hard. But if you go in the Christian church, where, you, where they tell you, we don't have to keep those commandments, those laws are done away with. That's, That's an right. oxymoron. That is BS. Because guess what? The Bible just said if you love God, you will keep his commandments. Right. So if they teaching you not to keep the commandments, do they love God? Okay. No, they hate God. And that that's what we're right. telling our people to repent, keep God's law, because guess what? That's how you're going to get into the kingdom of heaven. That's Give me that in right. Matthew 19, when uh, the, the, the man went to Christ, and Christ asked, uh, the man asked Christ, well, how do I attain eternal life? I'm pretty sure y'all all want to attain eternal life, right? Because yeah. the kingdom is for the years 12. That's the kingdom right. is only for us. Right. So guess what? We're going to show you how you get eternal life. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 19. Verse 16, read, and behold, one came and said unto him, good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So the, the man, he came to Christ. He said, what must I do to have eternal life? Let's see what Christ said. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. Christ said, why you calling me good? There's none good but one. And who's that? That is God. He put it on the Father. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life. If you want eternal life. James, James, you got your name, huh? Devon, huh? Dylan, if you want to turn life, Dylan, Devon, and James, what you got to do? Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. You have to keep the commandments if you want to enter the kingdom. That's right. These right. churches tell you not to keep the commandments. They are all the devil. These pastors out here, they ain't teaching you to keep the commandments. Guess what? Ain't, give me Proverbs 6.23. Give me Proverbs 6.23. Proverbs 6.23. Watch this. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. And the law is what? Is light. The law is what? Is light. Uh-huh. And the reproofs of instruction. So the law is light. Give me Matthew 5. I think it's let your light shine. Let your light shine. So the light is the laws, right? Yep. So let me show you something that we are all, all the brothers out here are doing right now. Watch this. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Yep. Yep. Let your light so shine before men. Let your what? Your light so shine before men. And guess what? We being the prophets of the Most High God, we are letting our light shine before men. Let <laughs> men shine as the Lord. Because you know what these are? Right here? You know what these are? Do you, any of y'all know what these are? Them is rude, they these, no, I'm talking about these right here. These, these fringes. These are called fringes. And right here, you see every brother got a fringe in the border of blue. Did y'all know that's a law? 
Give me that. Give me that. The law on on uh, fringes. Watch this. How you doing, brother? We out here teaching our people who we are. Watch this. Numbers. This is the law. Watch this. Read. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Read. Don't speak unto the children of Israel. So Moses, God commanded Moses to speak unto the children of Israel. These 12 tribes. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generations. Forever. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And that's what you see. Every one of these ones right here, we got a, a border of blue and a fringe. It's a law that was given to the Israelites. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments. And remember what? All the commandments. So it's a reminder to keep God's commandments. In case we are in the midst of sin, we we'll look up on it and say, hey, read on. It's going to explain itself. Remember all the commandments of the Lord. Uh-huh. And do them. And do them. Read. And that ye seek not after your own heart. And that we seek not after our own heart. Going and uh, keeping Christianity, uh, Muslim, Egyptology. That's going after our own heart. Very right. away from God. Right. Read. And your own eyes. Uh-huh. After which ye used to go a whoring. Now, I'm going to ask you. In the Christian church, do you see your pastors or any 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 uh, uh, men in the church? Do they have these on their clothes? They, got with no. beard, man. they don't have them on their clothes. Uh, so are they keeping the law? The beard, are they That's keeping the, the law? Right there, Give me the uh, Isaiah eight and twenty. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you why. Watch watch what the Bible say about this. Watch this. If the pastor ain't keeping these, guess what the Bible say? Read that. Isaiah. Chapter 8, verse 20. Read. To the law and the testimony, if they speak not according to this word. So if the pastors in the church are not speaking according to this Bible, what does the scripture say? It is because there is no light in them. They don't got no light in them. They don't got the laws in them. They right. are the devil. Right. Read. And they shall pass through it hardly, be stead and hungry. So... I got another question. I got another question to ask you. I got another question here. So, do y'all know the true... Uh, matter of fact, before I get there, what's the love of God again? Keep his commandments. Keep his commandments, right? Now, I'm going to show y'all something y'all can do right now, real easily, if you love God, then keep his commandments. Read Give me that in 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. Watch this. 1 Corinthians, chapter 11. We got to We got to come out here and show our people their sins so they can correct them and get right with God before he returns because bombs of destruction is coming to this place. That's and right. we want our people to get right before that happens. Watch this. Right. Read. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. Read. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So at the head of every man is Christ, right? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. But this society tried to put the woman ahead of the man. That's backwards. That's, yeah. that's the devil doing that. When I say the devil, I mean that so-called white man, which is really the red man. Right. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God, right? So it's God, Christ, man, woman, right? Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head Covered. So every man praying or prophesying, and we are prophesying to you right now, uh, Devin, Devon, we are prophesying to you right now, Reed. Dishonoreth his head. So what you have in your head covered, while we are bringing the word of God out, who are you dishonoring? So do you want to dishonor uh, Christ with your head covered? So what must you do, Devin? What did the scripture say? What the scripture say? If you love God, what would you do? Give me first John five. Give me first John five and three. Huh? I wouldn't be scared because guess what? The, the angels will rejoice that you're starting repenting to keep God's law. That's, That's right. That's signs of repentance. Watch this. First John chapter five verse three. For this is the love of God that we keep. His commandments. Did I not just give you a commandment out the book of God? So, if you love God, what would you do, Devil? Huh? Go ahead. What, what, what must you do? Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld to the throne 
were cast down, uh -huh. and the Ancient of Days did sit. Ancient of Days, you know why they call him the Ancient of Days? Because he was here before the days began. The most I would have read. Whose garment was white as snow. Whose garment was white as snow, meaning he had a body. Mm -hmm. And the hair of his head, like the pure wool. The hair of his head, like the what? Pure wool. Like the what? Wool. Like the what? Wool. Wool, the pure wool. Stop hiding your wool, Devin. Show your wool, Devin. Keep God's law. If you love God, you would keep his commandments. God said you want to do? Huh? I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to give you a thousand dollars. Seven thousand dollars. You want give me that in uh uh no he the John nine John nine John nine John chapter nine verse thirty one yeah. Now we know that God heareth not sinners God don't hear sinners mm -hmm. But if any man be a worshipper of God uh -huh. and doeth his will and doeth his will give me his will so those that keep God's will guess what that's the that's the people that he's gonna get. That's the prayers that he's going to listen to. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. My heart. So what's God's will? Thy law is within my heart. So what's God's will, Devin? The law. So if we love God, we yeah, will keep the commandments. You got a flyer? Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Yeah. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's now high time that you awake out of your sleep. Stop calling yourself color. Stop calling yourself African American right. and black. That's not who you are. Right. God calls you the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Yeah. You are the Israelites. And it's time that you awake out of your sleep and repent, black man. Come here, brother. Let me talk to you for a minute. Maybe I'll go get some meat, man. Huh? Brother. Who is that? Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Read. And that. Knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Uh -huh. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Guess what? Our salvation is close. The black Messiah is soon to return and rescue one third of Israel that's keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. What'd you say, Baba? What's your name, man? My name is Tom. Tony, man. Tony, I'm Jacob, man. What we out here doing teaching our people who we are according to the scripture? I know here we are. Who, who are we, Tony? To we black, very black people. What? We God cows. I can't deny that. We are God's people. We are yeah. his people. But guess what? What comes with that? Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. We are the Israelites, the greatest people to ever step forth on this planet. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Three. Oh. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh huh. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments you of the Lord. What? Keep the commandments of the Lord. So knowing we are God's children, knowing we are the Israelites, we must keep the commandments of God. I keep the commandments of God. Let me ask you, say that to you, right? You've been sip this morning? You had a sip this morning? Did you have a sip? Yeah, I got a sip now. <laughs> nah, man, can't, can't be doing that, uh, uh, Tony. Give me that, Isaiah. Give me that, Isaiah. Because what oh, would you do? Huh? Go, go. Isaiah 5. Go, Listen, go. no, I'm telling you for your good. No, it's, it's guess what? Guess, guess what? Watch this. Watch this, Tony. Watch this. Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 11. Read. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning. Guess what? It's, what time is it? What, what time is it? 120. 1.30. 1.30. So you probably been drinking since about the time you got up, right? 
right? I do that. Read that. Read that again. Whoa! Unto them. Listen to this while you walk walk on by. Guess what? We doing this showing you other love. We showing you to keep up. You hey, can't you be doing that. Up, Cause man. we gonna show you what comes with that. Sir. Read that. Whoa! Unto them that rise up early in the morning. It that says, they may Whoa. Whoa means destruction. Yeah. It's destruction is gonna come to them that rise up early and drink. Cause guess what? You've been you've been drinking since this morning, right? Sure. You you said you've been drinking since this morning, right? I still got me a beer in my bag. Listen, listen. You know what? Destruction will come to you if you continue hey, in your man. way. Because guess what? Hey, Anything man. can happen. You could, my best, you, you listen, Tony. You could walk out in that street right now from being drunk and get hit by a car. No, can man. that happen? No. Can that? Yes, it can. Not, not it can. Bro, listen. We, we, yeah, don't tempt the Lord. Because it said destruction will come to those that get up early and drink. Read. That they may follow strong drink. Let's follow strong drink. We're that not supposed to do that. Read. Like that continue beer. until night, to the wine inflame them. And it's going to inflame you, brother. You're going to be I so into you. You're you, 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 you you inflamed right now. What's that in that beer? I open that mother up and show you. But we, but we showing you, Tony. You can't do that. It's breaking the commandments of God, brother. Galatians chapter four, verse sixteen. I am. Am I therefore? Become your enemy because I tell you the truth. Am I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? That I tell you to not to break the Sabbath of the Lord? Are we become your enemy because we tell you the truth? Something your pastors won't come out here and, and do and put their life on the line for God for God's people? Bring it up. Which we do every Sabbath day. Give me that that they despise of despise of God. First Thessalonians, Thessalonians 4 and 8. First Thessalonians 4 and 8. Read that. And I forget about the brothers down here with the Isaiah 38. Watch this. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 8. Read. He, therefore, that despises, despises not man. So guess what? When we went to get the fly, no, 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 no. Okay, you don't despise us. Who you despise? But God. You despise God. You yeah, don't despise God. us. You despise God. And guess what? Everything is being recorded thus day. Yeah. Everything's being recorded. God see that you hate his word, you hate the prophets that come out here and teach you the truth. Read that. Who hath also given, given unto us his Holy Spirit. And he given us his Holy Spirit to come out here to preach the gospel to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Bro, that's, that's why right. we are here. Give me that in Isaiah, uh, where, he, where he was holding? Isaiah 30? 30, 30 and 8? 30 and 8. 30 and 8? Yeah, Isaiah 30 and 8. Watch this. Come on. Let's go. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 8. Read. Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book, that it may be for them time to come forever and ever. Uh-huh. He said, note it in a book that what? That this is a rebellious people. A rebellious people want to get up early and drink in the morning, want to come out on the Sabbath and give out food. That is rebellious as hell to do on the Lord's Sabbath day. If we come out here trying to clean up the community and tell them to get right or repent or die, that's your options. Repent or die. Bro, yes, in, your, in the land of your enemy. Read. Lying children. You're lying children. All you do is lie. You're talking about we don't got to keep no commandments. Can't nobody keep uh, all those commandments. But your pastor running game on you telling you you got a time. And time it was given to the Levites, there was never no money. You getting, y'all getting game run on y'all, giving your money to your dog on pimp, pork chop eating pastor. Read. Read. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. You will not hear the law of the Lord. God knows his people better than you. He said you will not hear the law of the Lord because you want to be rebellious and you want to stay in your sin and you want to join hand with your damn enemy, the That's damn it. devil. Read. Read. Which say to the seers, See not. And say to the seers, see not. You want to say to the prophets, don't see us out here giving away food on God's Sabbath day. Don't see our sin. Don't tell me I can't eat pork. Don't tell me I can't celebrate Thanksgiving when you're celebrating the murder, the atrocity of your brothers, the Native American Indians. Bring it up. You want to serve your oppressor. You want right. to serve your damn white daddy. Read. And to the prophets 
Prophesy not unto us right things. You don't want to hear right things. You want to hear smooth things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can go eat the turkey and the cranberry sauce and all that. Guess what? You do that. You continue that. You're going to die by the hand of God. We speak unto us smooth things. You want to hear smooth things. You wanna, don't come out. You know what? Y'all come out here. We want to hear you talk like Joel Oskin. You know what? We want to hear you talk like that slick talk. Uh, pork chop eating pastor, uh, TD Snick, and uh, craft look, uh, theft your dollars. Right. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear us talk like them. Guess what? We ain't them. We are the prophets of the Most High God. Come to tell you to repent or die. That's right. right. Prophesy deceits. Prophesy deceit. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear lies. We ain't out here telling no lies. We out here giving you the truth. That's we right. Get you out the way. Y'all want us out of the way. Y'all want the, uh, the brothers in purple and gold. Y'all want us out of the way so you can continue in your wickedness. Now, we're going to stand here every Sabbath and teach our people the truth until Christ come back. Read. That's right. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. You, 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 don't, you want to say, you know what? Christ is white, man. We believe that. We don't want to hear nothing about no black image of Christ. We don't believe that. We believe in our white daddy, and we're going to serve our white daddy till the day we die. Because guess what? That's what you're doing when you're out here breaking the Sabbath. Right. You're serving your damn oppressor, and you love that damn oppressor. Right. Read. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because he despised this word, and trust in oppression. You despise the words of God and you trust in oppression. You trust in your slave daddy. Give me, give me Psalm 62 and 10. Give me Psalm 62 and 10. That's what you out here doing. You trust in oppression. You trust in this man's system. You trust in America. You trust in Biden. You trust in uh, Bill Clinton. You trust in Trump. That's who you trust. Read. You don't trust in the Lord. Read. Psalm chapter 62 and verse 10. Read. Trust not in oppression. Do what? Trust not in oppression. The Bible says trust not in oppression. But what the so-called black Hispanic Native Americans do? We. And become. No, read it again. Trust not in oppression. The Bible said trust not in oppression. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.